In this video, I'll show the changes for Overgrowth Alpha 115, which you can try if you've pre-ordered. The first new feature is a color tinting tool. If you select one or more objects, you can press Ctrl P to bring up the tool, and then just choose a color like you would in any other graphics program. If you want to make the color lighter than the original, you can use the Overbright slider. This will mostly be used for color matching and differentiation. For example, if I put this rock here, it looks kind of awkward. Its subtle green tint is different enough to look out of place, but not different enough to look intentional. Using the color picker, I can either make it really different, like some kind of jade ore, or make it actually match the blue-gray of the rest of the scene. This rock here is another example. I can either push the blue-gray color to contrast with the dirt, or I can add some brown tint to make it blend in. Creating a color picker widget could be pretty complicated, but since we have WebKit rendering built in, we can take advantage of all the open source web development libraries. If I press F1, the WebKit in browser appears, which I can use to show you the free Yahoo UI library that has the base code for the color picker. Jeff then adapted this color picker to fit in with the rest of the UI, and added the overbright slider. Another new feature is that all of the camera control is moved to the character script, which means I can take advantage of the live update feature when tuning the camera control. For example, I can give the camera more inertia, or move it farther away, or freeze it completely to see how the movement looks from a different perspective. So far I haven't used this to change the camera much, except by adding some limits to the vertical range so it won't go upside down anymore, and adding a little bit of camera shake to impacts. I also disambiguated the active block and the throw controls for now. Now you can tap right click to block, and hold it down to attempt to throw. That's it for this week. If you'd like to pre-order and try the alpha for yourself, you can do that at wolfire.com slash pre-order. If you'd like to hear about development news as soon as it happens, you can follow me on Twitter at Wolfire.